guess where I am? <laughs> I'm at the camper place inquiring about some service work and I thought I would just look around. I think the guy said this was all of the new camp campers that they have here at the Holiday World in Willis, which is not a lot. They just don't carry a lot of these. I don't know why. The one in Houston does, but they just don't carry that many here. He said they just don't deal a lot with these, these campers. And that's why, you know, I'm inquiring about the service that they do. So he said that might be better to go down to the Katy location. So I don't know. I'm trying to get that Aldi fluid done. I don't know if I should do it, try to do it myself or get my RB guy. Hi, Ron, if you're watching to maybe do that. Cause you know, I'm getting like 700 and $800 quotes for doing that job. And that's just, and I understand, you know, the, the uh, fluid is I think 60 something dollars a gallon and it takes four gallons and then you're looking at labor. So that is just a big chunk of change. Yeah, so this is a 2024 tab 400 and I haven't seen one up close. This is the model, you know, they've changed the, uh, the front part and they've moved those little cubby areas where and this version is slightly different. And here's the bathroom. And the change they made in this one, they've, you know, mine has that fold down sink and this one has this little small sink here, which I kind of wondered how this would be. And I think I like mine better. That's just kind of small. And I don't mind the fold out sink at all. Toilet looks the same. Oh, the only other thing too is the vent fan. They've changed that. So that all looks the same. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I guess it's not too bad. It's pretty low, but... Oh, sorry. I'm not... <laughs> Put the sink in the picture, Jennifer. Oh, that's not bad. And it's... That's ceramic. Wow. That's heavy duty. Huh. Oh, and this is the one that has... The microwave. I opted out of the microwave. I asked for one without a microwave because I'm just like, oh, I'd rather have the cabinet space. This is all the same. I like that the upholstery is kind of feels like leatherette or something. And um, but what I don't like, I don't like this uh, Velcro is kind of cheesy. I think, and I don't. I just there's no way this bunk bed situation. I I just I don't get it. This one has the refrigerator. Yeah, this all looks very similar. I'm not sure what that little bumper thing is. Huh. Yeah, this is all very similar. And I'm actually surprised they have these little curtain things. Huh. I don't know because when you put this slot, this, um, this shade up, I mean, they're blackout. They're blackout shades. It's you know you can't see any light, so that kind of surprises me, huh? And on the outside, everything looks pretty much the same. Let's see. Oh, the one thing I know they changed is they have a key, a key lock on this compartment, which I really like that. They should have had those on the other ones. I think. And yeah, on the water, water compartment also. Sewer thing looks the same. Oh, the vent is different too. That's interesting. That's different. Huh. And they've got the classic storage thing for the propane. Huh. Neat. Oh, let's look at the uh, sticker price. The focus 54 3 oh my gosh no pay you wouldn't have to pay that much i don't know why the sticker prices are so much more than the price that they actually get for these it's kind of weird i'm surprised they didn't change the sink faucet because people have complained about this huh and then yep, the stove is the same huh let's look let me see yeah, all under there is the same. And one thing that is different that I kind of wish I had, this under the bed storage place, 
on mine, the 2021, it's just a wall there. And I have to lift up this bed, whole bed section to get in that storage. Kitchen. I guess the positive thing is it's kind of a hidden storage area. You know, if somebody was thieving, <laughs> it's kind of a secret little storage area. And with this, I mean, obviously it's very visible, so. Huh. Okay, let me see the inside of this. Yeah, that is a lot bigger. Nice. I don't know though, I really like my closet. I'll put a picture of my closet. It, it is nice to have a place to put clothes and stuff. Because here, I guess you could use that drawer. No, but, hmm. That's a big space, that's kind of weird. I don't think one has a big space like that. I know some of these things can be adjusted. Yeah, I just, I really like my setup better. Uh, even though, you know, I've modified the table. Well, Dad modified it. <laughs> and one quick thing I want to mention, because I'm in the, you know, the Tab 400 forums and some of the Facebook groups, and people complain about this door. And if you'll notice, it's not, this is not a New Camp product. This is a door that they outsource, you know, because there's no other plastic in the camper like this. So Several other campers have this door, I'm assuming. I'm not sure what company it is, but just FYI. It's a little different. Just want to show y'all the 2024 Tab 400. Talk to you later.